Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dealer and this is Dungeon Mans. Um, as you can see I am Wolf Fourth Cliffs, which is probably the furthest away town. Um, the prosperity of this place is actually 8. The maximum was 8. Um, so I don't know why I didn't ever bother visiting this place, because this place has... Tier 3 plate stuff. Well, these plate boots. Um, it also has tier 3 cloth armors. Oh, not there. There it is. Yeah, tier 3 cloth armors. So, it doesn't look like there's really any good places for getting tier 3 plate armor besides the boots, but it's better than nothing. Also, this place doesn't seem to have very many shops for scrolls and stuff. That's okay. Speaking of scrolls and stuff, we need to, like... So, what I did off-screen is I went through and just, um... Um, killed all the little bandit camp things, um, and just gra gathered up all the, um, the supplies or whatever. Um, I some of those. Okay, now, this place does have some leather boots, um, that I could probably mess around with. Um, so one of the things I wanted to go ahead and do... Um, was actually I want to take I'm going to try this boot barter thing and so now my boots are gone okay well let's uh, buy some more boots then I'm just going to buy all of these and see what happens. Where are my boots? There they are. Doesn't seem like it does anything. It could be that because these are non-magical, uh, that's the reason, but I don't- I couldn't say. But, I might as well do this. Because I'm already committed. It seems like you get pretty junk stuff, to be honest. I mean, so far I'm getting nothing but tier 1 stuff from a tier 3 item. I mean, it could be because it's store-bought, but I cannot tell ya. Back. I th well, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up all these. Might as well. Uh, hard to tell. So yeah, I'm probably not not gonna bother with boot barters in the future. But I just wanted to see what it did, if anything. Also, it gives me excuse to um. Yeah, at least I gotta scroll out of it. Scroll to identify. Kind of convenient, because I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself uh, these boots. Alright, where's my identifies? Oh good. They're cursed. Great. Let's get some let's get these boots instead. Hopefully they don't suck. That's better. K uh, KG Cooler. Uh, hardened Hall Boot plus four. Gives me additional dodge and 60 cold resistance. Deal. Good stuff. So now my cold resistance is actually okay. Alright. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this place. Yeah, pretty much. I just want to buy... Um, healing items and the such. Buy one of those. I'm trying to find actually, I'm actually trying to find stamina potions, and so far the only stamina potion I have found is here, which is the um, forty 
40 ounce stamina stamp slammer. So you know what? I'll go ahead and drink that. Or buy that rather. Okay, so... As I mentioned before, I wanted to go ahead and get all as much like like stamina potions as I could possibly get because I need them. We're just going to go to all these places. Okay, this place maxes out at 5. Uh, this place has tier 3 swords, that's good. There's a Doom Talker here, but I have no idea who the Doom Talker is. Alright, um. Iron Brew, Blood Glue, Lesser Healing Pots. Get books here. Combat Blinking, yes, buy, buy all the Combat Blinks. All of them. Get the uh, stamina slimer. And I like these champion pots. They actually give me a lot of regen. Um, I wouldn't mind getting this little upgrade armor thingy, but we'll deal with that later. Speaking of upgrade armor thingies, don't I have a bolster armor? I do. Now, Antiseptic Renegades Baldric, which gives us some poison resistance. Why is there a goal over there? Oh, it's this guy. He's the Doom Talker. It is good to meet fa uh, you face to face, O Dungeon Bands, and find you in this random place, brave Dungeon Man. Great evil stirs, it is a race. My wares will keep you up uh, keep you up pace, and with, my with gold in my pockets, you will lace rich Dungeon Mans. Um, okay. So this is the Doom Talker. I guess he just spawns randomly in towns. Um, and unfortunately the stuff he has is super, well, it's good, but it's super expensive. I mean, look at that. That thing's just, he has like repeating abilities on it and stuff like that so yeah unfortunately it's stuff I can't use so we'll just have to leave it as that you got anything uh, you have champion pots I'll buy them what about you Champion pot, and that's it. And this place had swords. Okay. Well, we'll keep on looking. I'll deal with that place later. But yeah, I'm just checking all the places now. I was going to do most of this off screen, but I figured I'd go ahead and show some of this stuff. In fact, let me be right back, and once I'm done buying stuff, we'll be ready to go to the next dungeon. Okay, um, went around, bought a bunch of stuff, spent a lot of gold. I found mostly just champion potions. I did manage to find a couple lesser and stamina, or lesser, greater, and regular stamina potions, but not very many. Um, I did buy also any chant scrolls I could find, as well as any BAMF scrolls I can find. Also, I found one interesting scroll called the Scroll of Zesp uh, Zespera's Challenge, Promotes all enemies within five tiles to champions. Uh, the call of a fearsome huntress, huntress who stalked the wilds, endlessly hunting champions of the enemy. I'm gonna buy one of these. In fact, I'm gonna buy both of them. This may kill me, but it could also get me a lot of proofs of, of stuff and a lot of extra loot. So we're gonna go with that. Oh, and let's not leave yet. There's one thing we need to do. I did buy a bunch of enchant scrolls, so let's put those to use. So, let's see. Uh, fortify weapon. Alright, we'll go ahead and fortify this. 
This le that weapon can no longer be bolstered by scrolls. The scroll was not destroyed. Okay. Fair enough. Alright. Go ahead and bolster. What can we bolster? Alright, now it's an antiseptic sterilized, blah 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 blah. So now it gives an additional more poison resistance. Not that big of a deal. Alright, what else can we do? Um, Alright, I can't use that. Well, actually I can. I can use it on my gem blade. So we'll put it on our gem blade. So now it's an incandescent uh, garnet gem blade. Which does starlight damage. Neat. It's our first weapon that ever does starlight damage. Okay, what else can we get? Let's go ahead and uh, fortify our weapons some more. Now it's a blazing incandescent garnet gem blade of whatever. And let's start weapon one more time. Oh wow, three in a row. Venomous blazing incandescent garnet gem blade plus three. So now it has uh, starlight, fire damage, poison damage, and could cause poison. Okay, good. Good stuff there. Um, let's see, we had this super buff on armor. Um, we'll go ahead and put it on the one thing that's not enchanted. So now it's a starlit, googly-eyed rugby leather, blah, 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 blah. So we get some starlit resist and blah, blah, blah. Hey, it gives us additional, um, it gives us additional starlight damage, which is good, because we have at least a little bit of starlight damage now. All right, um, now we need to Let's see, do we have anything else? Okay, we just have fortifies. Alright, um... Alright, now it's charred starlet. So that gave us additional 60 fire resistance. Um... Nope, failed. Also, we do have a fortified weapon as well, so we'll go ahead and fail that as well. Okay. Fortify armor. Um, Alright, now it's practice conquest, so it gives us additional parry. What else we got going for us? One more fortify armor. Okay, anything else? Nope, that's everything. Okay. So we're all geared up a little bit. We actually have some resistances finally. So our resistances are... Not too bad. Um, and we do additional 25% in starlight damage. Great. Alright, to the overworld. Sorry for the delay there. Let's go ahead and uh, head on out. So yeah, I was thinking about heading this way. Um, sure, to battle. We'll fight you guys. Oh, hey, it's you guys. Uh, Alright. Ow, ow, ow. ow. Here, I'll, um, I'll swap you. Hey. Oh, there it goes. Didn't update it for some reason. do this tower. So what is this tower called? Uh, Kermida Pa, the Tower of Triumphant. Never done a tower before, so let's just, let's do this one. Is 
This tower blights the land, a bastion of villainy where a crew of warlords hoard stolen wealth and train their army of bandits and thugs. Raid the tower, oh dungeon mans, blah 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 blah. Brigand ne Necromancer. Vapor damage against Yaren. I don't understand what that is. It doesn't seem to hurt me at all. Okay, this place is filled with mages. So I'm definitely not going to be using that champion thing anytime soon. Alright. So, very simple shape, but it has a lot of heights, a lot of line of sight blockers. damage, that's fine. Alright, and for this one we're actually going up instead of down. Go figure. And of course there's freaking like construction happening outside my door yet again. Uh, Cryo Dutch Duchess, unrivaled cryo scientist, dangerous at both short and long range encounters. Champions can summon freezing pillars of ice. Brigand Deadeye, Arrow can debuff, blah blah blah. Champions can power drive you. That's good to know. All right, let's put up a decoy. And I'm getting messages. That thing is just summoning like the. Whoa! What the hell just happened? I just got hit for 80 something damage. Well, that happened. Okay. Well, let's return to the main menu. And it looks like I'll be uh, making a new character. Which I guess is sort of the best after all that mess ups and losing. Rec data and all that nonsense. Okay, who should I play as next? We 
go fighter main and try a different build. Kind of want to be tanky. So I'll tell you what, we will be Tenchi Hino Nawi. Yep, sounds good. All right. Stat-wise, not really good choices here. I guess this one. And we'll, we'll be a fighter man's. Um, and just like before, we're going to make war champion spawn. And, uh... Eat delicious books to restore health and gain a small experience boost. I don't really know what the experience boost does, though. Don't need that. Might just have to stick with the extra health again. I don't want to go two weapons, or not two weapons, a uh, two-handed weapon this time. So we'll go with this one. You know, I'm probably going to end up using a sword. Alright. To adventure again, I suppose. Alright. To adventure, please. Uh-huh. Well, let's get the books first, as I always do. Alright, that will give me some of that. Counters at random. Oh, good. That'll get us some um, overworld stuff. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get two points in cartography. Which is going to be great. Um, we can also immediately start with uh, two weapon fighting, so I might go ahead and take advantage of that. So let's do um, that. So now that gives us. Scroll down here a bit. We now get a combat bonus in the overworld, um, and then this next one will actually get us the ability to teleport all the way back to the academy, which can be useful if I wanted to speed things up and want to avoid random encounters. We'll get that. So, yep. Now we have nearly maxed out cartography. Um, we're about to get one rank in cryoscience, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Though I don't think I can even use it. So, yeah, I have it, but I don't have any mana, so I can't use it. And let's go ahead and get Legend of Drazo, and that'll get us the first rank in um, Dungeon Dervish, which will get us two, in two weapon fighting. So, good stuff there. You identify all of that for me. Since two weapon. Alright, well, let's see. Um, I like to take some of this stuff out. Like, I don't know. All that. Alright, let's see what we get. That's all. Alright, what do we got? Alright, so. Got some real armor, that's good. More block, more parry, recover mana every turn, every turn, total dodge, and recover one stamina per turn. That one I'll probably go for. Let's go ahead and equip that. Which is, which like over doubled my armor. Good stuff there. Um, One-handed axe, or I go with a two-handed sword. Or I can go with my fist. Um, let's see. Cover stamina and health on kills. Not bad. I did say I wanted to go to a uh, two-handed sword. Be nice. See that? I go with this axe. 
on top of. On top of this sword. Eh, that sword's not the best. So, you know what? I think I will stick with, uh... The sword. There we go. Goes off. What does this do? So take one step forward and swing wide. Alright. That there. Okay. So, note to sell, stay away from towers, because they're filled with spellcasters that just wreck you in one shot. I think I got hit for 90, which is ridiculous. Anyway, um, I think this is all I can really work with. Um, let's go ahead and check out... Let's see if I can get anything from that. Okay, um... This will give me more parry and more purple resistance as well. Alright, we'll go ahead and equip that. Which will up our armor by 50% practically. Anything else? Not really. And I don't really want to bother with the low tier stuff, so we'll, that should be it for now. Alright, uh, melt down all my unlock gear. Yes, melt it all down. Um, I would like to purchase uh, an upgrade hammer. We have that unlocked a lot of stuff for us, though. That's nice. Um, let would be nice to be able to attack multiple times, but whatever. No, that's not gonna happen. Sometimes freezes enemies in place. might just have to leave it because if I can get enough crushonium I would like to get something that gives me like multiple attacks and stuff like that all right we'll go with, oh. I guess that'll be it for now all right so six fallen comrades but I only have five statues because technically Momiji has died twice yay bugs Spending. First things first, let's get this all the way up. Get a little bit of that. As much strength as we can. Add up a little bit as well. All right. Now the question is, is where should I start? Dung heap of terror. The deep glyphs of Rolteram. I don't think I've done this one. Apertures of forgotten heroes lay shredded, a forgotten structure, long lost. What horrors await within these depths? Apparently some terror boots. Okay. As always, probably the first thing I'm going to work on is um, getting the um, BAMP spell, because that thing is really important to have. In fact, at this point, I might just go straight for it, just so I can have it. Yeah. 
So despite being with a passive label, that's a active skill. Ah, one shot at a champion. Oh right, I probably need to um get some stuff. So I can use this to hit three adjacent tiles and knock the enemies of those tiles backwards. Um yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get BAMP till six anyway. And this will give me a a small AoE to kinda mess with. Started another champion. What do you have for sale? Stuff I can't buy. Yep, stuff I can't buy. So did I loot some stuff? Nothing I can use. Nope, okay. The only thing I got was shoulders, which I already have tier 3 of. Yay, levels again. Okay, let's go ahead and get... Uh, Applied wizardry. So now we can uh, yeah. shot at you. Unfortunately, I don't really have much for dealing with ranged attackers still, but it is what it is. Everything. How am I dodging everything? Uh, Forty-one percent of the time. Neat. Man, I was doing so good. Can't believe I freaking died again. I definitely need to at least get her body back. Which will require me to go to the second floor, unfortunately, which. Probably won't happen. Um, probably the best bet for um, this melee character will probably be go for the graveyards. But even that's pretty rough. One shot at you. Unfortunately, the um, proofs of strength are becoming less and less valuable because takes more and more points to upgrade beyond a certain point. I mean, it does allow you to, I guess, even out your stats, at the very least. But I mean, it's still also additional loot, so it's not terrible. Especially in the case of getting, like, extra artifacts. this dungeon. Um, Alright, we got a door down there to take care of.
Oh, my film increased by one. Uh, I probably have an antidote. Nope, I don't. Well, I'll drink a potion when it comes time to do so. I might probably just take the hit. Yeah, I could take it. It hurts a lot, but I'm alive. Now you poisoned me again? Seriously? All right. What's your yelling potion? There we go. I don't know how you reached me, but okay. else I'm missing quite a bit pretty sure you got nothing for me holster weapon bolster my armor. Bolster armor. Now it's a something, something, something. Now it's poison resist. Um, what else we got? Bolster weapon. Nope. Another bookstore? What do you have for sale? You have a 45 armor, which I can't afford. Freaking poison. All right. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing, but it is. It's what's happening right now because I am once more at the beginning. Though I do have an awesome weapon. Gotta die.
Yay. Ah, I pressed the wrong freaking button again. I hate when I click the wrong place, especially against a ranged attacker, because then I just literally waste my opportunity to hit it. attacking okay um, yeah that's everything Another legend of Drazo. It's another point to do wielding. resistance I guess and that's pretty much it Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Dungeon Mans. Well, what, six thumbs to charm? See you guys next time.